It was centered in northern Israel, where prosecutors allege a broker and a doctor treated the harvesting of kidneys like picking parts from used cars. Um, the object was the kidney. In order to get the object, you needed the person, and you would traffic him in order to do that. Gilad Ehrlich is one of the prosecutors who was able to shut down essentially a human trafficking ring that sent both Israeli patients, all Jews, and their Israeli donors, all Arabs, to the Ukraine, where an Israeli doctor would perform the surgery. The broker is in prison, the doctor in the Ukraine avoiding prosecution. The allegation that they preyed on illiterate, poor, and desperate people for one purpose, to get their kidneys. And basically, these two men were trafficking humans like used cars and using those cars, those people, for their spare parts. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And once the kidney was gone, so did the responsibility. No medical care, uh, no one took care of them. As I mentioned before, we had one victim that took out by himself his own stitches with a kitchen knife. The other prosecutor in this case, Basam Kandilov, says the victims were lured in by newspaper ads like this one published two years ago. The ads were placed in Arabic-speaking newspapers, targeting people like those who live in this very village in the north of Israel. Unemployment here is extremely high. The education level is low. The perfect place to find people desperate to sell just about anything, including their kidneys. He's taking us to Kafarmanda. This is the village where a teenager was talked into, duped really, into giving a kidney to somebody in the Ukraine. Uh, most of the neighbors uh, don't know. They don't know yet what happened. This is one of those victims. Kandilov says he's embarrassed, still hurting, and once inside, away from the neighbors, he showed us the awful reminder of what happened. And he still is tired, still is weak? It's hard to He feels like he's a, he said in his words, half person, half human being. He's a half human being. He was promised $7,000 for his kidney. He was given roughly half. Then the broker began deducting expenses, meals he was given, and lodging. In the end, he sold his kidney, he says, for nearly nothing. Prosecutors say the ring preyed on people just like this man, illiterate, destitute. One victim, a single divorced woman living in a Muslim culture. But you, when you're illiterate and you have two kids and you're divorced, and you're coming from a very, very poor family in a very, very poor village, at the end, you're the best prey. Prosecutors won their convictions on evidence from just five cases, but they believe the ring has been going on perhaps for years. Its victims now too scared, too ashamed to admit they bear the scar of organ trafficking. Drew Griffin, CNN, Nazareth.